What's going on, Shady People? Shady Penguin here. Welcome back to the next episode of our Ultra Moon playthrough. Today, we're picking up exactly where we left off in episode three. And by today, I mean a couple hours after episode three. Uh, it's been a full day for me, and we are making our way to the largest city in the Alola region, How Holy City. And by a few days, I mean one day. <laughs> I'm not wearing a hat, so maybe we won't wear a hat for the next, like, five episodes, since I'm doing, obviously, some, uh, some bulking, some bulk sessions. She's skimping her way down to the ocean shoreline. That's fair. There's how. What was I doing? Beach time, yeah! He's like got some sort of British, some something, not British. Hey you, you've come to Alola from someplace far off, haven't you? I can tell. Wow, she is uh, quite the Sherlock. Mm -hmm. Then let me teach you the proper way to greet poke someone in Alola. Okay, you want to teach me the proper way to greet someone in Alola. I did recognize when I was editing that I should probably play like this. I think this will look better overall, maybe? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Alola, you give it a try too, just like that. Alola, you'll make more friends if you say it. So you're trying to conform me to your society? Are you kidding me? All right, I guess we're conforming to, to their society. I'm down with that. Wow, the render distance was weird. Did you guys just see that? People rendered, people rendered from far away. Uh, unfortunately, my body decided to get sick at the worst possible time. The wing will fly and their droppings fall. <laughs> I don't remember. I do not remember that. So my throat is uh, pretty, pretty much in pain right now. Uh, so we will be, we'll be kind of hanging out. We'll be kind of chilling. If you're not a fan of voices, that's going to be good because it's going to give me a little break for sure. Look, catch. Uh, would you stop? I know they're squishy, but there's no reason to toss puke and muke you at me. Throw a Pokeball if you must throw something. Pukamuku? Pukamaka? I, don't, I still don't know how to pronounce that Pokemon a year later. Slowpoke really has its own tempo, huh? It's never confused by other Pokemon's moves. It's too slow to get confused or to take a hint. Leave me alone already, would you, Slowpoke? That's mean. You're being mean to Slowpoke. I don't appreciate that. Is How still down here by the water? I thought they showed. Can we throw this thing into the ocean? Let's see. Nope, we can't. Okay, whatever. I was hoping we could throw it into the ocean. Give a little Toski, but I guess not. Let's say hello to this lady so she's, she's our friend. It's so nice. What is what is what's so nice? You didn't you you gave me nothing to go on. You gave me nothing to go on. Okay. We're in the shopping district now. I thought I was going inside of a building, but I guess not. I feel like there was someone hiding behind the wall and laid right into it with a karate chop. After all, a karate chop makes it easier to deal real devastating critical hit. Karate chop does have a high critical ratio. Hey, Shady, I thought I recognized the sound of those feet. What does he sound like to me? I don't know. So what do you think? How only is something, eh? Alola's got, got to be the best place ever to live. Oh yeah. Hey Shady, come in here with me. I've got an idea of something you could do. Oh yeah, something I could do? You're really, really trying to make my life, my time here in Alola by the book. Hey miss, is it true that you can get some kind of special gift if you have a Rotom Dex? My goodness, you get the news fast. Hardly anyone has a Rotom Dex, but it is true that we have a special item to go with it. It's our very own Poke Finder. Here you go. We got a Poke Finder. I don't remember that. Awesome. Isn't that awesome, Shady? You got a Poke Finder. So like, what's a Poke Finder? The Poke Finder is a tool that lets you take photos of Pokemon. Oh, that's right. Rotom will help point out places where you'll be able to take photos too. Here, I'll read you the instruction manual. Tap on Rotom or press R. Yup, that's all it says. Quite simple, isn't it? Man, that Rotom Dex is cool. It's like a whole nother partner, Shady. I mean, on top of your Pokemon partner. Oh, but I guess since it's Rotom inside, it's pretty much a Pokemon partner. Either way, you're pretty darn lucky. I'll meet you outside when you're done in here. I don't know, his voice is just evolving with each episode. The photos you can snap of a Pokemon with a Pokebinder, they are simply too cute to resist. They are simply too cute to resist. Mm-hmm, I know, look at you. You look like a Pokemon trainer with sense. I've got something I'd like to ask a promising looking trainer like you. What do you say? I'm listening. Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's wonderfully kind of you. You see, I'm doing here, here doing some research on various Pokemon. I need to record the differences between 10 species of Pokemon for my survey sample, but I've been working so hard, my back is just killing me. But then you came along. You look like a sensible young trainer, which is just the sort of person I need to help me. I'd like to ask you to catch 10 different species of Pokemon for me. It's not too much to ask, right? Good luck out there. I feel like the reward he's gonna offer me is just, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Oh. Shady, how did you visit the tourist bureau? How was it? We got his Rotom Dex upgraded. Now it can take pictures too. What a wonderful helper you are, Rotom. <laughs> Flash, we just got flashed by Rotom. Shout outs to Game Boy Luke. Huh? 
<laughs> what was that for, Rotom? Go and put that little trickster back in your bag, Shady, and follow me. Enough feasting for the eyes. It's time we take care of our stomachs. Here we go. Maybe Rotom wanted to get your attention because it wants to take photos with you. I think I'll go by, stop by the apparel shop to do some shopping of my own. Are you actually going to change your clothes? Something tells me you're not. Something tells me you're not. You're a trainer. Look what you've got. You lucky kid. If you got a Poke Finder, then I guess I'll give you a little tip. Right where you karate chopped and damaged public property. See that spot where the wall is cracked? It's a photo spot right there. Look at that. Rotom is trying to tell you there. Give him a tap. Okay, so we're going to go through the whole tutorial again, just like in Sun and Moon. Uh, some things just don't change, I guess. Uh, you can take it six shots, etc. I don't want motion controls on because that's just not who I am. I've got this. Are you, can I zoom in? I can't zoom in yet. Ooh, but I can put a grid on here. Okay. So I put you at the bottom. I guess centered is the best. Perfectly centered is the best. Oh, well. All right, I took all the photos. I did all the photos. Which one do I want? Uh, they're all pretty rough. Oh, I like this one. He's turning his head. Yes. Well, actually, it's technically not the best one I have. I like this one the most, though. I'm going with this one. That's my favorite. Your photo's been uploaded in the comments. They're already pouring in. Kawaii. Was Kawaii in the last one? I don't remember the Kawaii being being a comment in the last one. That's ridiculous. That's insane. Yeah, um, the game is super, super similar, obviously, to uh, Ultra Sun, uh, to regular Sun and Moon. Um, we got ver we got version two. I'm just gonna close the Poke Finder. We're done with this. <sighs> Interesting. I hear it's best to try to photograph Pokemon head on and zoomed in as close as possible. If you want to know more with Poke Finder, well, just keep on taking tons of pictures. Keep on taking tons of pictures. All right, so this is where we got our camera. This is where we can scout real quick to see if there's any new Pokemon we want to add to our party. I know there's nothing super wild in the beginning of the game. Like, I get that. Is it just going to be Wingle and Wingle and Wingle? Like, I'm not... I'm really not trying to just add Wingle to the party for no reason. Uh, we do need to fight some Pokemon, though. So maybe we can find some Rattata for our Litten to fight against, because we're only level 12. I feel like we should be a bit stronger right now. I really wish we had another member. I just wish, there's nothing that is like wanted, I've wanted on the team, honestly. Uh, I kind of like Magnemite, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I do. I do like Magnemite, but I will not settle for one without Sturdy. So, we will go for Ember, and if you live, you will join. If you don't, then you won't. Okay, you're gone. Sorry, man. Uh, you do not have Sturdy. I, I'm not sure if Sturdy's a hidden ability. I feel like it's not, considering I had a Sturdy Magnezone in the Soul Link. Uh, I feel like it is not a hidden ability. So, we're gonna, we're gonna go for, I, I would like I said, I wouldn't mind getting, I don't think I've ever used a Furfrow. I don't know if that means I should keep it that way or or what, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch this thing. It's a female Furfrow. Kyrie! This is Kyrie. Yes, Kyrie, yes! If you guys don't know, my dog's name is Kyrie. And uh, that is exactly who you shall be, Furfrow. Oh, we got the burn. Oh, baby, you're on a timer now. You better join up, Kyrie. You better join up. And it's level nine. It'll be a nice physical wall for us. Uh, the only problem right now with our team is that we are so weak to fighting type moves. Like, we are insanely weak to fighting type moves. So a ghost would be a great addition. I'm not sure if these all these Pokemon will stay the entire time. I feel like the first Pokemon I would get rid of would probably be the Zork. Because uh, at least the Furfrow adds an immunity to ghost types to our team. Um, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to capture this for a We're gonna name her Kyrie, and she will be our third Pokemon on this team. Swagalaga Ding Dong. There you are, Furfrow. Beautiful, perfect. Registered. It's crazy that like uh, obviously Rocket Rainbow is a thing, and they've used Rainbow in the Pokedex since the beginning of Sun and Moon. So like they they just listen, man. And what's even crazier is that Sun and Moon was originally called Project Rainbow. That is actually wild. And I've known I've known that since, oh my gosh, when was that? What tournament was that? That was like 2015. I think that was 2015 that I knew that this, uh, that, whoa, 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 what's that sticker? That's a, that's a sticker. 
Um, I've known that that, that, it was, that it was uh Project Rainbow, so it's really crazy. Oh, Shady, tell me, do you pick out all of your own clothes? Of course I do. Come on, you see this shirt? You see this shirt? I pick it out myself. Pick it out myself. Of course, most people do, don't they? I, I've always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of thing would suit me. Oh, but that's not why I stopped you. I meant to give you this, Shady. I received it inside the apparel shop here. I didn't even buy anything, but they said I was the 99,999th customer to visit the store. But I already have the same one, so I thought maybe you might want it? We got the lens case, baby. We got the lens. It looks like we have something in common now, don't we, Shady? <laughs> okay, stop being weird. All right, so I am all about, I am all, oh, look at that sticker right there. Okay, we got a silk scarf, which is really good for our fur frow. Speaking of which, Let's go ahead and take a gander at our fur frow, at Kyrie the burned puppy. It's got fur coat. Uh, it looks like it's gonna have a brave nature, which is meh, but it has stab tackle, which is dangerous. We're gonna give it that, we're gonna give it that fur coat right now. Held on, no, we're not gonna give it the fur, fur coat. We're gonna give the silk scarf to Dow. Your normal type tackle will be incredibly strong. Now, what's this thing on the wall? There's a sparkling sticker. Something good may happen if you remember this later on, okay. So I have to remember that later on. Interesting. I do want to buy new clothes. I'm all about that customization. I'm all about that customization. 100%. Ooh, the white Alola shirt. Okay, first of all, these shorts are the first things I want to change. Uh, I am very much about capris, and I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna go bright spirited this time around. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. Uh, I just need to find a shirt that I like. That ooh, that could be the one. I don't think purple and teal really go together. The gray looks really nice, actually. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the gray. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna match the the teal pants. With the teal. No, 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 no. All right. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the flowers. The Alola gray shirt. Absolutely. Uh, now, do you have any new hats for me? Because I really. I'm not a huge fan of this hat. Uh. I mean, it's better. It's better. I think I'm gonna go with the black hat, actually. Cause the black, at least we have like those black, I don't wanna call them socks. The 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 stretchy part of the Capri pants are black. So you know, that's fine. I would like to put on my latest purchase. Show me the money. Bam, look at us styling wiling. We are styling and wiling, let me tell you. Okay, so there's a sticker there. Look, a salon and a, okay, I might change my hair. Listen, we're gonna get this all out of the way. We're trying to, Alola. We can set you up with whatever kind of hairstyle or coloring you like at the shop. Smooth, shaggy, short. We can do loads of different styles. We also color your hair however you like it. What do you think? As long as you're here, you might as well go. All right, let's, this is gonna be risky. But luckily we're doing, we're doing, uh, we have a hat anyway. $5,000. All right, let's, hopefully this doesn't mess us up. I guess I didn't catch myself a litten. I was given a litten. We're gonna go with uh, medium and layered. I really don't know what that's gonna look like. What color do I want? I do like the black I have right now, but we're gonna go dark brown because it's kind of, my hair is a little dark brown basically. I, I guess I've never really thought about the color of my hair. It's I would just call it brown. I guess it's not dark brown, it's brown. I used to have this girl, my... I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan, but once we have the hat on, it's really not bad. Once we have the hat on, it's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna deal with it. I'm gonna rock out. I'm not spending another five grand. You're out your dang mind. What is this place? I've been itching to go shopping, but the shopping mall is closed for renovation. Well, we can't go in then. The more you walk with your Pokemon, the friendlier they grow toward you. Okay. Oh, there's there's Lima. Lima. Greetings, Captain Lima here. So you've spotted me sticking up one of these lovely stickers, haven't you? You did what now? Vandalization? If young trail goers collect these stickers as they travel and follow the path they indicate, they will quite naturally progress along their island challenge. Really, if I had to describe them, I would say these stickers really save trail goers like you. Mmm, so they are stickers that we collect. But I cannot let my guard down. Those team skull thugs have far too much time on their hands, and they're always trying to get in the way of trainers in their, on their island challenge. I have to keep an eye out on them to be sure they don't take down my stickers. I've actually just had a report that Team Skull was seen making trouble around town. I suppose I should have a look. Well then, young Shady, I hope you'll have a delightful time running about to search out and collect totem stickers. So, totem stickers sound like fun. Okay, I've collected one totem sticker. One, 
I wonder how many there are. Oh boy, we got the heal ball. I can be your healer, baby. Different song, but you know, we could change words and make it our own. I can kiss away the pain, oh yeah. You can take. Oh, that's some pretty lukewarm coffee. Hey, hey, hey. Let me know uh, on this episode, because we're this is episode, what, four? So I've played almost two hours of this game. Let me know how much time you've put into your Sun and Moon game, if you have the game. Uh, the new one, obviously, Ultra, Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. And let me know... I've collected two Rotom, uh, Totem stickers. Not Rotom stickers, Totem stickers. Uh, let me know what your team is looking like two hours into the game. Uh, what your team looked like two hours into the game. What did you end up going with? Okay, so I'm looking, I'm honestly looking for more stickers now. I, 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 I'm, I'm a little bit of a, ooh. We found a tiny mushroom hiding behind the tree. How's anyone supposed to find that? I'm a little bit of a collector. I'm a little bit of a, of a completionist. Only, only when I feel like it. But today is one of those days that I feel like it. You know what's really weird? Doesn't fur coat make fur for out two times, like weak to fire? That ember really did not do anywhere near as much as I thought it would uh, if fur for out weak to fire. Pretty interesting. <clears throat> it's a crit. What the this Litten is out of control. This Litten has zero chill. Absolutely zero chill. My accuracy is going to drop, but listen, Litten doesn't care. Walter is not about to miss this ember because of one accuracy drop. There it is. There it is. I will not care for you, Litten. I'm sorry. You're going to stay dirty. Sharp grows to level 12. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Wet paint. Oh, boy. Where was that totem sticker? It was like right... It's right there. So how am I getting there? I have to get there from the other side, I think. Okay. Let's just go all the way around then. Let's go all the way around. I was just going to try to hop in my Taurus and I was like, wait a minute. We don't have that yet. We don't have that at all. Let's just get to the other side of town. A lot of the NPCs dialogue seems exactly the same. So as much as I'm, I'm not trying to like, ooh, 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 ooh. Perhaps you can snag it with a fishing rod. So I need, I need to fish for stickers in this game. I was just saying, a lot of the NPCs dialogue seems the same. Um, but I, I think I don't want to like harshly skip over it. But some of it, like I'm saying, like a lot of it's the same. It's unenjoyable. Not unenjoyable. It's just it's repetitive. The young master is called the prince of the trainer's school among some. They may think he looks princely, but if you knew the true Lima, you'd probably call him a fanatic more than anything. He's wild for battle. Okay, let's see if there's a, a sticker in his bedroom. Hey, old man, are you Lima's dad? Generic NPC is Lima's dad? Let's see. Any stickers up here? Ooh, we're going in the room. We're just gonna lay in his bed, are you kidding me? It's just firm enough, the pure white sheets make you feel clean and comfy. I did not mean to do that. All right, there's a sticker. Can I, I was gonna say, is this step stool really gonna stop me from getting this sticker? Something about doing this reminds me of Mega Man Battle Network. I don't know what it is. Something about collecting stickers really makes me think of Mega Man Battle Network. It's kind of strange. Okay, so there's only the one room up here. There's only one sticker. If you miss that sticker, go back and get it. Go back and get it. I'm here and I'm trying to explore the nooks and the crannies. I'm a nooks and cranny kind of guy, boys. Winky face. Yes, you can treat your Pokemon with the medicine found in Pokemon Fresh. If you want to. Oh, oh, what is this? This is City Hall. Can I go over there? Let me over there. I saw a sticker. Let me stick. I wonder how many... I I wish there was some sort of, like, Rotom could tell us how many stickers there were in each area. How's it, Shady? If you're looking for good eats, you've found them. Oh, we got a slurp buff. Plus, Malsadas make your Pokemon like you. An affectionate Pokemon are better in battle. I can't, I don't know what accent he has. Who can resist giving their Pokemon a few Malsadas, eh? They're just so cute. Yo, 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 check it. Whenever, whenever we meet you. Whenever, wherever we meet you. Team Skull don't even greet you. Even though you literally, you literally, you just greeted us, Team Skull. You just greeted us. Gang, gang. Yo, you want to throw us a bone and hand over those island challenge amulets to us now? Oh, so you're part of that Team Skull, huh? All you guys ever do is steal totem stickers and people's Pokemon and get in the way of uh, the other people's island's challenges. You know it. We hate the island challenge, yo. And every kid fool enough to try it. 
Yo, let's cheek, 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 cheek these fools. Let's teach these team skill jerks not to get in the way of anybody's island challenge. All right, so you give me the option to not start the battle, but I'm gonna start the battle anyway. I'm gonna start the battle anyway. All right, we got Team Skull here. You know, I spoiled something that I didn't know. I guess I didn't watch all the trailers thoroughly enough, but I was spoiled about something regarding this game. I'm not gonna talk about the spoiler. I did tweet about it. Um, but I'm not gonna, uh, just in case you, do, you don't know, but it's just, I, I'm, I'm interested to see where this goes now. That's all I will say. Supersonic, we're dodging! We are dodging, Walter is here. I guess 12 was plenty high. I guess 12 was plenty strong. Walter is going to grow to level 14. Wants to learn the move Fire Fang. Okay, uh, let's get rid of Leer. It's about time that Leer said goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. We're done with it. We're done with it. For real over already? You have one Pokemon, what do you expect? One level nine Zubat. No fair, I was playing a different game. Let's get up out of this port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't need your whack little amulets anyway. Wouldn't even take them if you gave them to us. Yeah, that's right, you tell them. Yeah, throw those gang signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Those Team Skull Jakes really must have too much time in their hands, eh? Keep a keeping other people from doing their island challenge isn't gonna make it like they managed to finish theirs, you know? I already went down to the marina and screamed out over the ocean, Watch out, world! Someday I'm gonna beat even my old gramps in an all-out serious battle. So maybe I'll go to try to find some more totem stickers next. See you around! So totem stickers, we don't really know exactly what they do yet. What a lovely little battle you showed us there against Team Skull. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer school. Professor Kukui brought you along and your Pokemon seemed to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Very well then, allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Yes. See if I'm ready for your trial. Do it. Do it. Behold the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Lima. Or is it Ilima? I'm just now realizing it might be a capital I. It is a capital I. Because if it was a capital L, there would be a line. I've been calling him Lima for four episodes and it's Ilima. I don't like that name. I like it better than Lima, honestly. Ilima's better. All right, Ilima's gonna go ahead and use a Young Goose, level 10. Oh, I should use Fire Fang now. Fire Fang is stronger than Ember and has a chance to flinch. It looks like Fire Fang probably would have been a 2 KO as well, uh, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it would have been a 2 KO. I'm not gonna go Fire Fang this time just because it is slightly less accurate than Ember. Uh, oh boy. Uh, let's see, Ember, Ember, Ember. Okay, I have to go for Fire Fang now. Ember looks like it'd be a roll. It is gonna connect though, Walter. God, he's a wide-eyed dreamer, let me tell you. Another but wide eyes and deep dreams. Gonna send out Smeargle. Is Smeargle just gonna have Sketch? I feel like he's just gonna have Sketch. Let's go for Fire Fang again, why not? Tackle, he has Stab Tackle! Ew. Oh my gosh, it did a lot of damage. Why is that Smeargle so strong? Burn him, burn him. Yes! Litten doesn't care! All right, we're gonna go for the Ember. We're gonna go for the Ember to steal the deal. You can live any move, Walter, except for like Water Gun. Ilima with the full heal, are you serious? Don't matter. Dave. Down goes Smeargle. Swept by a kitten. Swept by a kitten. Kyrie grows to level 10. Kyrie. Yes, you have emerged victorious. He's excited for us. That's nice. You, or should I say you and your Pokemon, make quite an interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial. The trial of Ilima. You can get there from Route 2. The Rotom decks of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. All right, there goes Ilima. Ilima's gone, done. How Oli City is almost behind us. We see another totem sticker. Like, I feel like they still haven't told us the true purpose of totem stickers. Maybe that's just me. Did we grab this one? We did grab this one, shoot. Okay, can we go over here yet? We can, ha ha. Yes. Oh, we've already been here. Dee! Never mind. Uh, I want to go, well, I do want to get that item. Don't get me wrong. But first, I'm more concerned about getting that other sticker. Well, first, let's check over here. Uh, I see a sticker over there. Is there a sticker behind here? 
That would just be evil Knievel if they did that. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think they would ever do that. Put it on a. Put it where you actually cannot see it. An item I can understand, but stickers. That would just be rude. That would just be rude. What are these totem stickers actually gonna do? They said they're perfect for us. Is Mew under there? Ha <laughs> ha! Joke so funny and original. Okay, let's check the police station out for stickers. I'm like not as interested in talking to people as I am as finding these darn stickers. Okay, no stickers in here. There's a clef key hanging up though. There is a clef key hanging up. Do not go back inside. Okay, let's check over here. Oh, this is just the beginning. Okay, so we already got that sticker that we saw. That sticker was uh, not through a gate like I thought it was, through that wet paint gate. Ooh, 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 I'll take a TM though. I will take a TM. I'm not trying to pass up that. Plus, there could still be a sticker over here. Uh, speaking of that, we probably have to go in the restaurant as well. We can't fit right there, darn it. I'm walking, I'm walking! I was walking so I wouldn't run into Pokemon! Survey says we see another fur frow. Another fur frow. It's just more experience fodder. Oh, I should fire fang. Actually, fur coat reduces the damage of physical moves. So you know what? Maybe maybe ember is the right thing to do. Although that does literally nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run because I do not feel like watching Walter die. Echoed voice. It's a special normal type move. I'm sure the Furfrow can learn it, but I really don't want him to. We're gonna put uh We're gonna put sharp out front since Walter's in a bit of pain. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Hmm. Uh what to do now, what to do now? I guess I'll go down here. I could go and heal first, but I feel like not much is gonna happen down here. I don't remember if anything happens down here. There's another sticker. Like I said, we still have to go into the restaurant to check for stickers over there. Oh, I see a sticker down there. I would I would hope that 10 stickers of each type of totem, like this is the yellow, whatever this yellow sticker is. I would hope there's only 10. Because it's such a nice round number, nice perfect number for searching. That guy was literally giving me the eyeball. You guys see that? He's eyeing me down, Gramps. What do you want, Gramps? Huh? Stop looking at me. The ocean around Alola looks so huge and endless, but thanks to the Great Fairy System, you can get to the next island in no time. The Great Fairy System. Which is this. I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, but the ship is undergoing regular maintenance now. We hope to be underway again soon. Alola's great, isn't it? After all, there are lots of different Pokemon that you'll let ride on their backs. Oh, you mean like the newly hyped up Mantine? I wonder when they're ever going to fix this. It's way more convenient to be able to use the vending machine anytime you want to. Get you to stop by, have a look at my wares. Oh, that's it. So you can have a look and nothing's for sale. <laughs> Why are you wearing that apron? It's deceiving. That apron is very deceiving, my friend. Okay, I guess let's go back to the Pokemon Center heal up. Uh, I feel, like I said, I feel like we're missing one sticker. Why can't you let me in here? Let me in here, what is this place? Machamp is holding a sign that says, Alola Photo Club coming soon, oh boy. Okay, let's check out this restaurant. Any stickers? No stickers. Malasada, I'm not trying to eat any Malasada, although the music is fantastic. Elk, I'm thinking of you. Where are we going? We already checked, did we, we didn't check out City Hall. We did not go inside City Hall because how abruptly said, hey, I'm here, are you here? We're both here now, let's be here together. Okay, uh, I'm busy thinking about what kind of city we should make our how only into. It's gotta be convenient for the people living here and for the Pokemon living here too. Thank goodness my throat is killing me. Okay. Let's go ahead and, what is this? Oh, it's a Magnemite. It looked really weird. It looked like it was like on the door for some reason. Oh, yes! Haha! -ha! That's our 10th one. You've collected 10 totem stickers. Yes. Yes, 10 totem stickers and they are mine. I have collected them and you cannot stop me. You cannot stop me from collecting them. So with those 10 collected, I always think, no, we know there's another one because there's one right there with a freaking fishing rod. Okay, let's heal up and then we'll head uh, towards 
I think we'll head towards the island, the challenge, right? That would be the next thing to do. I think we've pretty much cleared out how Oli City, met Team Skull, caught a new Pokemon, collected 10 totem stickers. So I'm feeling pretty darn productive in this episode today. Uh, yeah, and there's no more stickers in here. So let's just, I'm not even bothering with you kids over there and your trading devices. There's no reason. There's no reason. Oh, wait for me, Shady. Of course, Lily. Anything for you. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. You're going to Verdant Cavern? I read something in an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Aloha, like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki Town said the Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we could find the answer to why it saved you and Nebby that day, Shady? Phew! Oh yes, please take these, they're called revives. If you use one on a Pokemon that is fainted, it will recover and feel a little better. Lily. Shady, good luck on your first trial. I hope that it goes well for you. Oh, Lily, you're so thoughtful and kind. I appreciate it. There, Shady, I've got this ordinary creature calmed again for now. Wanna try giving him a little pat again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Come on, Shady, try, show, try showing Tauros a bit of affection. Touch its forelegs. Hmm, Tauros didn't seem to care for that. That seemed like the best one. I guess poke it on the nose. Hmm, Tauros didn't seem to care for that. Okay, so let it be known it's canon that Tauros like getting grabbed by the horns. Maybe old Tauros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you, and yet, it still seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! Ha! There he goes. What? You want to play tag now? The Mele Mele Kahuna never loses, friend! I feel like, um... Maybe I just didn't realize it last time. But I feel like he has a lot more personality now. I don't know what it is. I think we're going to end our episode today here on Route 2. Though, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to show some shady love to that thumbs up down below. And come back tomorrow. Hit subscribe down below. And we'll have another two episodes for you guys. Have yourselves a fantastic day. But above all else, keep it shady.